Hey guys, I'm Drew Briggs here, and today I'm coming back at you with another haul video from the Minifig Co., as you guys can see on this bag. This is a very varied haul video, so there's lots of stuff to cover, so why don't we just jump right into it. Now, some of you guys seem to like it when I do a very dramatic pour of the items that I received out of the bags, so why don't we go for it in this video. Hopefully it pours smoothly. We shall see. Well, that was uh, eventful, or kind of all thrown about this light box. Uh, but as you guys can see in front of you, what we have here are a bunch of figures that are some modern, and then we also, I guess all the figures themselves are modern, and then I also have some uh, kepis from the Civil War, and then I also have some heads. So why don't we go over the bodies first themselves, uh, and let me get a better view of them for you. Okay, so as you guys can see, here is the first variant that I got. This is essentially just a figure. He has some mags on the front. Of course, as I said, this is modern figures. These are SWCC. I believe that that stands for Special Warfare Combatant Crew or Combatant Craft Crew, something like that. Somebody is going to make fun of me in the comments for butchering that, but I looked this up before and I'm almost positive I'm correct. But anyways, as you guys can see, he has a dark tan combat shirt underneath uh, kind of that olive plate carrier and then all around just some really nice details. So why don't we go over this first. As you can see on the front, what he has is a Velcro patch that has nothing on it, that little square. And then he also has the magazines uh, along with, I don't quite know what this is right here. So if somebody does, go ahead and let me know. He also has a belt, and then of course on his pants he has knee pads, and then he has some various pockets. Now, if we move on to the side of the figure, what you guys will see is that on his arm, he has a small little uh, Velcro pouch, and then below his arm, he has what I believe to be is a radio or more magazines. I honestly cannot see closely. I think it's more magazines, uh, or it might just be another pouch. Someone can go ahead and let me know. If we look at the pants, he just has some more pockets there. Now, of course, on the back, nothing very specific, just his belt is continued. And then, of course, you know, his plate carrier or his, his, you know, his chest rig continues from around the front. Now, what we have on this side, I guess I'll put the arm up as well. He has a larger zipper pouch, as you guys can see. I was trying to get some nice lighting there so you can see the zipper. And then he also has more Velcro pouches on the side of his arm. I'll put it down so that you guys can see it a little bit better. He has those Velcro pouches and then, of course, just further detailing and further camouflage printed all over those arms. So I think one thing that's great about this figure is that it does have that 360 degree uh, printed camo on the arms. As you guys can see, it does cover all the way up to the side of the body. It's great to see that essentially every company that's doing camouflage these days is doing this because I think that, you know, that 180 degrees cover where it was really only, you know, on this side of the arm, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the most ideal, and it kind of looked a little shabby. So it's great to see that this is becoming the standard. So this was the first variant I got. I believe that I got four of these. I'm not entirely sure. Why don't we just go ahead and count it out? So here's the first one. Here's another dark tan version. We'll put it off to the side. Here's a third dark tan version. And then yes, here is a fourth dark tan version. So the next thing that I got was simply an olive version of that same figure I just showed you. So I'm not going to go over every single little detail. As you guys can see, uh, on this guy, he just has an olive combat shirt. That's the, you know, he, that's the huge difference between the two figures. Uh, you know, it's a small difference, but it is something meaningful because I do like having some variation in my figures. And I do think that uh, having this olive kind of combat shirt uniform does make it so that these figures are definitely unique from the dark tan ones. It just gives a little bit more color for kind of all the different figures that are in your... Uh, display or in your collection or however you want to display them and it also just adds a little bit more detail if you're going to use them in a mock and I believe that I got four of these guys as well so if I can find those here's the second one there's the third one and then here is the fourth one so the final version of the SWCC body that I got 
was actually this version that has a pistol mounted on the front, if I can get it to stand on my little makeshift stand right here. So as you guys can see, he has this, he has a pistol and a holster, and he also has some magazines along with some other pieces on the front of his uniform. And so he has this nice camouflage that's going all around. This isn't a, uh, you know, a combat shirt or an undershirt design. I don't know exactly what it would be called for what this guy is wearing underneath it. It just kind of looks like he's wearing his uniform underneath it. So if you guys know for sure, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So he has that same zipper pouch that I think we saw on the left side of the other figures. And then if we look at the back here, if I don't <laughs> drop it, hopefully I don't drop it. There we go, staying very well. As you guys can see, just kind of a continuation of the rig, the belt, and then the pants as well. Now, if we look underneath this side, I'm not entirely sure what he have. It does look like a radio and kind of a different style pocket or pouch, I guess we can call it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, go ahead and let me know kind of what different details TMC put on here. I just don't know what everything represents. I, I think it's a radio, uh, you know, that I'm pointing to this kind of black object next to the brown pouch there. If I look closer, now it totally doesn't look like a radio anymore. When I look closer, it actually just looks like another pouch. But you know, I'm not entirely sure. If one of you knows, go ahead and let me know. All of these figures are super hyper detailed, which I'm very pleased with. And it's also a modern design that's very useful. There is an Instagram user who did create the boat that these figures would be, you know, kind of piloting. I believe he goes by Rosewood Builds on Instagram. Hopefully that's his full name. Uh, if you guys are interested, just leave a comment below. I can link you to it if you want to check out that boat. But the reason I leave one of these figures here is because I need to show off the rest of the things that I got in this haul. So I actually ended up getting, I think, 10 or 11 of these Union uh, Artillery Kepis. So of course, these are nice little additions to my Union Army. As you guys may or may not know, I'm hopefully going to have at minimum 500 Union soldiers, and hopefully I will eventually have an army that's over a thousand. Now I'm trying to just essentially create a scale version of essentially a brigade. That's what the goal is, so that's why I'm getting so many. So this is very helpful because I can use this for an artillery detachment, use all of these kepis for an artillery detachment. So we'll move those off to the side, but I also got two heads, as you guys can see here. One, if I can get him to stand up a little bit straighter, is just kind of this old dude. He's just looking a little wrinkly, a little bit shocked, you know. It's a unique head. You always gotta have some new unique heads to put on figures because you need that head variation. I hate it when I have to put the same head onto multiple figures. It just really ruins the display for me. It ruins the mock. It just ruins the vibe, essentially. So I'm very happy always when TMC comes out with some new heads. And then we also have a pretty unique head, I think. It's kind of like a sweating guy who he also has like a little cut on this side. Of course, he has those blue eyes. So all of those features make it a very unique head and make it very different from anything they've kind of produced in the past. Now, other than those things, this was the entirety of this haul. It was actually pretty big. It took me a little bit you know, it took me a little bit to film all of it. As you guys, you know, it's fairly obvious this is a longer haul video when compared to normal. But alas, you know, this is a cool number of figures that I was able to get. Of course, the Kepis are awesome. They'll help me out. And then these heads are awesome as well. Hey guys, sorry for the rough cut to the video that just probably happened in the editing process. My camera actually ran out of space right as I was finishing up the video. Of course, the most inconvenient time, if I only I had taken, you know, 10 seconds less, I would have been able to wrap it up. But anyways, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do a lot of more stuff, and I'll catch you next time.